you see that? The dealer had a hard total 17 and he went to deal himself a, another card. Obviously he didn't need to do that and he put the card back and I saw what it was. It was an ace. How do I exploit this situation? Knowing that information, what should I bet for the next round of play? Can advantage play help me in this situation? Here's some examples of some key cards that the advantage player is going to attack. First we have the ace. If we consider the ace in, a, in the advantage player's hand, he plays with a 52% advantage. Then we have a 10. If we consider that 10 into his hand, he plays that hand with a 13% advantage. But if we have a 4, 5, and 6, and now we try to steer it into the dealer's hand, and now we can play any bet on the table at a 24% advantage. Following are some examples of key card location. As you notice, a six-deck game, the players can see the bottom card, which is an ace. Now here's another example, a six-deck shoe. The last deck is being placed on top. The ace of spades can be spotted. Do you use a lace in your shuffle? Well, maybe the lace isn't that safe after all. As you can see, using a lace, even though you're using a cut card for bottom protection, we can still spy the bottom card. Not only can you do this on a multiple deck shoe, but also on a handheld game. Watch the, watch the dealer expose the bottom card of the double deck. And our final example here, we have the uh, dealer riffle shuffling. You notice the ace. The dealer innocently uses a high riffle shuffle, which the advantage player spies, in this case an ace. He knows that the ace now is the fourth card from the top. Once the key card has been located, there's a technique used to uh, steer this into the player's hand. The most common method is a cut real thin off the back of the deck, usually a 10 to 12 card cut, depending where they want to drive the card. Here's an example of a player sitting down at the table steering the card into his hand. As you notice, two players play on the right and left of the, of the key player, who's now placing the $100 bills on the table. They actually steer the card into his hand. Since our card is a 12 card cut, the A should appear in the center of his three card bets. And there's the ace of spades, the 12th card down. Cut. In the last example, we showed the uh, players directing the ace into the middle hand. What does that actually mean? Well, we can play this hand or this hand or this hand where the ace falls at a 52% advantage. Since this is not an exact science, the card could fall two cards off the center bet. In this way, it falls into the smaller player's hands, because if it falls into the dealer's hand, it would be quite disastrous. Here we have the 10 value card. Of course, again, each hand plays at a 13% advantage. And of course, if this falls off one, card, one way or the other, it falls into the smaller player's hands, not to fall into the dealer's hand. But what happens if a 5, 4, or a 6 appears? Well, we can't put it in our hands because it's a disadvantage. So what we try to do is steer it into the dealer's up card position. Again, if this card is off by one card one way or the other, it falls in a smaller player's hand. It isn't disastrous to our big bets. The difference here is instead of getting an advantage on just one hand, we pick up a 24 percentage on every hand on the table. Now, this isn't the only way we can gain an advantage. What happens if we drive this into the dealer's down card position? Now we can also play whole card and pick up an additional 6%. Okay, Bill, so give us some game protection tips. Well, well, I'll tell you, it's like I tell everybody at my seminars, there's really four basic tips. First of all, don't expose the bottom card of the, uh, of the either single deck, double deck, or even the shoe when you're cutting the shoe. Uh, uh, number two, when you do use a, a cut card on the bottom of the, of the shoe or the, or the decks, be sure that it's, you know, thick enough gauge so you can't see through it. Uh, that's been a problem in the past. Number three is lose the lace. I mean, when's the last time you heard anybody using a, using a false shuffle on 21? I mean, with the lace, when you roll the deck over, you get a shot at not just one card, but sometimes two cards. And then the last one is look for these big money bets that come up at the spur of the moment on the table. Look for the guy who comes in, sits down at the table, all of a sudden makes a big money bet. See if there's any aces or ten of any cards that fall in. Uh, in one of the spots he's betting the money.